nestled among rolling hills is the Okimau Ochi Healing Lodge. It may look like a retreat, but this is a federal penitentiary operated by the Correctional Service of Canada to house incarcerated, mostly Indigenous women. The Healing Lodge actually most resembles what the regional prisons were supposed to look like. The focus is on rehabilitation, using Indigenous traditions and ceremonies to address the issues that have brought the women here. But support from the nearby community is fading fast. I'm really angered. The transfer of Terry Lynn McClintock, the convicted killer of eight-year-old Tory Stafford, has ignited outrage here and across the country. They're scared for their kids. But people who have volunteered at the lodge have a different view. This is the Okimochi Healing Lodge. Mary Sanderson used to teach art to residents. She says she saw the lives of convicted killers change. It's amazing what can happen when somebody can begin to believe in herself and begin to take responsibility. The lodge is a low to medium security risk facility. There are no fences, but advocates say it's still very controlled. There are uh, guards just like the prisons. There are strip searches. She says the process to get into one of these facilities is challenging. The Correctional Service can suggest a residency after an offender has completed every program, and sometimes they're placed here after their sentence, making McClintock's transfer unusual. I have taken the public concerns very, very seriously. That's not good enough for these people. The federal government says community concerns will be addressed in an upcoming review of the launch. That's expected to be released in a few weeks, along with a re-examination of the decision and policies that led to McClintock's transfer here. Olivia Stefanovic, CBC News, Maple Creek, Saskatchewan. So how does the Healing Lodge fit into the penal system? We reached out for answers from the Correctional Service of Canada. Corrections Canada operates six institutions for women across Canada. Five of them have maximum, medium and minimum offenders. The Healing Lodge has only medium and minimum. First, it's important to distinguish that we don't have any maximum security prisons for women at the federal level. Canada has roughly 700 female inmates in these six facilities. Grand Valley Institution in Kitchener, Ontario is the biggest with a capacity of 215. So across the country, um, women classified as maximum security would represent less than 10%, roughly 10% at a high of our 700. Maximum security for women is a lot like what you see on TV, traditional cells, but medium or minimum security looks a lot different. At this institution in Nova Scotia, for example, these are the housing units. Inmates are responsible for their own cleaning and laundry, and that style of living is similar to a healing lodge. What the healing lodge has that's a little bit different or more than the mainstream facilities is greater access to uh, ceremony, to elders, to Aboriginal culture. Etc. As inmates move through the system, they are constantly classified and reclassified depending on escape risk, institutional adjustment, and risk to the public, all with one clear goal in mind. Our main focus, whether it's in a, a, a mainstream institution or a healing lodge, is reintegration, safe reintegration. And that's because they know almost every offender will eventually end up back in the community.